know, as you mentioned, this is really an evolving situation. Just a short while ago, Broadway here at first was a trouble spot, but as you can see, police have moved out the crowds, and now police are on the move. We're hearing sirens all around us. We're also hearing loud booms, which appear to be flashbacks. We've seen police using beanbags and also tear gas. We've also seen protesters setting fires, blocking traffic, and now you can add looting to the mix. Take a look at this video shot just minutes ago. People smashing windows of businesses on 6th and Spring. A Starbucks and a mini market were the targets of looters, and police moved in in force. Also, we want to show you video of what it looked like about two hours ago on the 110 freeway as protesters shut down the on-ramp at Fifth and Figueroa. Police shot beanbags and used tear gas after some demonstrators on the second level started throwing objects. Also, this video was shot at Spring and First about an hour or so ago. Police moving in and arresting protesters who were refusing to leave. Protesters also set off fireworks as police were moving them out. And this has really been going on now for hours. Police clearing one area only to have groups pop up somewhere else. It started, by the way, with this scene. Take a look. Sky 2 was overhead when protesters started running past a police barricade that was at Olive and 5th. They were running in between cars and even on top of them. That's when they issued an order to disperse and made some arrests. Now, we should stress that some protesters did leave. Other those, others, though, I should say, have stuck around. And we want to show you ground video from the height of the protest. We saw one demonstrator jumping on a windshield of a police cruiser, shattering the glass. We've also seen LAPD vehicles vandalized with expletives. And back out here live, we're still hearing sirens as the LAPD is still on the move, and so are protesters. Again, they are forcing protesters out of one area only to have them pop up somewhere else. And at this point, they're not showing any signs of wanting to go home. We are monitoring the situation, and we will, of course, bring you the latest. Live in downtown LA, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.